Hello, I'm Victor from Parkinson's Victoria and today I thought we might talk about medication and Parkinson's. Firstly, what is Parkinson's? Parkinson's is a progressive neurological condition um, and it falls into the category of a movement disorder. The root cause of Parkinson's is a progressive loss of the cells that produce dopamine which is a neurotransmitter responsible for making the nerv motor nervous system work. With Parkinson's, these cells start to die off and so we start to have lower levels of dopamine within our systems. The illness is a progressive illness, it's not a life-threatening or life-ending illness and many people will often die with Parkinson's as their companion as opposed to dying of Parkinson's. Okay. In relation to Parkinson's, our treatment options are predominantly medication related and it's the simplest paradigm with medication as in we're replacing that dopamine that's no longer being produced by the body artificially by taking tablets. Unfortunately our medication doesn't alter the progression of the illness and the illness does continue to progress and our medications purely provide some symptom control. As with most medications, the longer we take them the less predictable their effect can be and we can start to see some side effects from medication from time to time. There are some other treatment options available, but we can discuss those at a later date. But those options might be some deep brain stimulation surgery, or maybe some progressive um, physical therapies, which we're starting to do more work on. The main medication that we see with Parkinson's, the first medication most commonly prescribed are dopamine-based medications. They would be, fall into the category of what you would see from your pharmacist, would be Cinemet, Matapar, Kinson, and perhaps to leave over. These dopaminergic medications directly replace that dopamine that's no longer produced by the brain. They're a combination of dopamine and another drug which helps it absorb more and get across the blood-brain barrier so that it can start to actually affect um, some symptomatic change with our Parkinson's. They're a very good medication and they're the stock standard medication that you would expect anyone with Parkinson's to be treated with. As I said before, those medications are known as Cinemet, Matapar, Kinson or Stilevo, which is what your pharmacist would give you. Other medications that might be used alongside of those are a group of medications called dopamine agonists. Now dopamine agonists fall, are usually known as Cabeza, Permax, Paladol or Apomorphine. Now these medications work directly on the body's dopamine receptors both centrally and peripherally. And what they actually do is they promote the release of dopamine that your body's producing and they prolong the dopamine within your system. Um, within these, these medications, we, we see some very interesting things happen. Sometimes we're treated with a dopamine agonist in the initial stages of the illness on its own because we're optimising our own dopamine. The dopamine agonist apomorphine is an injectable form of a dopamine agonist. It has an unfortunately very confusing name because it isn't a narcotic or derived from any opioid source. So it always needs to be given. It will not have any narcotic effects on someone, which often is a cause of confusion for many people. Another group of medications that we use for Parkinson's are called COMPT inhibitors. The most common one that we see being, being prescribed is a drug called Comptan. Now Compt inhibitors block the enzyme Compt which is responsible for breaking down dopamine. So what it in effect does is make the dopamine that we either have still produced by our brains or that we're actually artificially introducing into our systems make it last longer. Often what we see with when we take dopamine is we get a wave-like pattern of a therapeutic. So we go from a peak dose to a low dose. With a low dose we have more symptoms and a peak dose we have no symptoms. Both dopamine agonists and COMPT inhibitors help to flatten out those waves so that we have more normal functional movement for longer. Other drugs that we will often see prescribed with people with Parkinson's fall into categories such as anticholinergics, um, such as Artane or Symmetral. Those drugs also block the certain chemicals in the brain that we're responsible for metabolising dopamine, again having that effect of making the dopamine last a wee bit longer. Um, 
And another group of drugs that we might see prescribed are MAOB inhibitors, um, commonly known as selegiline or indipril or zelopar. Um, these block the enzyme that, um, that um, breaks down dopamine, again making that dopamine stay within our systems for longer and giving us more effect and more normal movement. Unfortunately, because we have such an interesting cocktail of medications, we can have many, many side effects. Most commonly, the side effect that we see is nausea. Um, this is partly because when we take levodopa and, and dopamine agonists, they, they induce a significant nausea, um, which some people will describe as an almost crippling sort of nausea. It's very easily managed, and often we manage it by changing the timing of our medication to have it maybe with a bit of food, although ideally we always have a medication on an empty stomach. Um, or altern alternately, we can try and reset the brain's vomiting centre by taking a drug called motilium, um, which incidentally would be the only antiemetic you would ever use with Parkinson's. Um, this is easily obtainable from your local doctor if you are suffering the effects of nausea. Constipation is also often worsened because it's often a symptom that people with Parkinson's have been living with for some time. The medication can sometimes worsen the constipation that we experience. Um, again, very easily treated simply by often good diet and ensuring we have enough fluid and that we're as mobile as we possibly can be. But on occasions we might have to resort to using certain other medications to help our bowels work more effectively.